Nothing to be seen at Batiste except a good store and a telegraph office, and the one-room station or storehouse, and a landing pier, some summer places, and a small summer hotel. I thought there was no good level place for the tent, but when I kicked around amongst the bracken and loose strife, I found a very nice place where there is a breeze across the point and shade from a big spruce tree. The fireplace part is rock sloping to the water with a small hollow in it where I'll put the fireplace and cooking and painting shelter. In the morning, looked over the trees again and cut a long thin pole and peeled it to measure with, 26 feet long. Measured around the place for a while to see where a cabin could go, then cleared up some fallen stuff to see the ground better. One of the reasons for the cabin being here and that's the sloping rock that comes, comes down and there was actually land and some trees and a bit of a dock along this, uh, along this rock so that's where, where we came in and landed and then walked up the rock and this is where we got water and swam and washed dishes and you know and there's a stream here and he would come over to get water from the stream. There were springs up the stream and that's really how he sort of discovered this lot and decided that's where he would build the cabin. Milne finished building the cabin in 1949 its expert craftsmanship is still evident. His chattels, skis, easel, and homemade bed and table still preserved. The cabin was to be Milne's painting home for the next three years. In summertime, he was joined by his wife and young son. Yesterday I went down the channel, the outlet, or at least one outlet of the lake. It's a broad river that starts just below my camp level because of a dam below. I paddled down against a gentle wind that seemed to follow the course of the river. About two miles below here I came to a dam. My father always looked forward to fall colors and grumbled if they weren't very good. And if you look a lot at a lot of the Batiste Lake paintings, they are fall landscapes. Sky was certainly a very important ingredient here on, on Baptiste Lake, as it was on Six Mile Lake. Today I got the painting started. In the forenoon made a few pencil sketches and one watercolor, in the afternoon a large watercolor, all from the point. No frost yet, and no sign of changing color, except one handful of leaves in the bush. I can just begin to realize that there won't be any maple color. There are no maple trees, except an occasional one in the bush.